You know, all right, so let's address this whole corner thing first. I think the obvious, so some people, you know, you listen to things and then it kind of puts you into like one track mind mode. Well, this person said we need you need an edge rusher. And this person said we needed a defensive end. And, and then this person said we kind of need one or the other. And then this person said defensive tackles the way to the quarterback. That's me. And, you know, and this person, you know, so you, you listen to different people and, and they all kind of give you a different perspective. And if you don't make up your own perspective, like, you know, really kind of drill it down and look at it, listen to it all, and then compile, you know, your own opinion on what we really need, you kind of get into one track mind mode, like defensive end or bust, like Donkey Kong, Super Bowl or bust. It's defensive end or edge rusher or bust. And this, and if we don't, then this team's a failure. That's what some people believed. But you you have to look at the other side of this too. And I'm not just saying this because I, I, I got a few things right here. You know, I said in the offseason that Brad Holmes is going to attack corner and, and defensive tackle, and that's what he did. And then in the draft, I said he's probably going to continue building the back end of the defense, but I would love to get an edge rusher. I even mocked an edge rusher to us in the beginning, but a couple weeks before that, I was high on this Terry and Arnold trade up situation. Never thought in the world, any world that Terry and Arnold was going to slip to 24 like that. That's just nuts. So be that as it may here, here's what I'm going to say. You fix the back end of your D. Even if you have average to above average guys on the defensive line, they are going to elevate their game big time because they're going to have more time to work and the quarterback really has less time. I know it's, it doesn't make any sense, right? They have more time to work, but the quarterback has less time. What I mean by that is if the, def if the defensive backs are able to stay sticky for longer than 2.7, 2.8 seconds, three is the key. The quarterback's not going to get the ball out because he's going to get hit. There is no way uh, an offense is going to be able to, to guard Aiden Hutchinson, Ali McNeil, when healthy, DJ Reader, when healthy, Marcus Davenport, when healthy in playing like his self in 2021, parts of 2022. Uh, and we don't know about the rest, but James Houston, when healthy, is a problem, literally the problem. We have plenty of guys that can make plays. And the one thing that we didn't see last year was a lot of the linebacker blitzes. Now we saw some of Anzalone or Anzalone, but we didn't see enough. And I felt like that's because AG was not comfortable leaving the middle of the field wide open with the defensive backs that we had. We were stuck into a couple of schemes, which made our, our defense, I feel kind of two dimensional, not necessarily one dimensional, but two dimensional. We stopped the run really well, but if you get past, you know, the, the defensive line as a running back an outlet pass, a tight end, uh, someone coming over the middle where we got killed all season long, there was your outlet, your dump off, your screen pass, uh, your slant, you know, your quick ins, quick outs, all of that stuff hurt us because we didn't have any defensive backs outside of Brian Branch that could stick with somebody and drive him into the ground as soon as they touched the ball. Brian Branch had like the least yak yards of any DB this season. So... Now you fix the back end of the defense. These receivers aren't going to be able to go anywhere. They're just going to be running around trying to get free, and the quarterback's going to have to make a decision. He's going to, you know, drop back and set, thinking he's going to get the ball out, and he's going to go one, two, three. If there's a fourth, four, shoot, nobody's open. I got to move, and then he's going to move. Which direction are you going to go? Are you going to go towards Aiden? Are you going to go towards Reader? Oh, and now you got Makai Wingo who can also rush off the edge. I think we're fine, but we're forgetting about Jack Campbell. Like Jack Campbell was pretty damn good as a pass rushing linebacker. He's pretty darn good in coverage too. So we have options. We have a lot of options on this defense that are going to give us plays up front to sack the quarterback. All right, let me get to some of the, uh, Oh, bang, right there, J-Rod, 335, uh, man, nickel. So we couldn't play a lot of that last year. We played nickel packages, right? 3-4, four, 4-2-6, four, um, 
but we 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 didn't have any heavy dime packages in that you can get really fast in the back end fast meaning you got extra dbs in now they can rush the quarterback you don't necessarily need a defensive end or an outside linebacker edge rusher to rush the quarterback you can use your nickel you can use your safety you can use Ennis Rakes, Terry Arnold, Carlton Davis, Amik Robertson, which Amik actually does really well rushing the quarterback. You have all of those options at your disposal now.